hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to uh, walk through some basic data types that we covered in the last video now the first data type we're going to have is let's say numbers and in numbers we said we have integers and double okay so I'm gonna write a and then smaller sign sign and then dash and I'm gonna write let's say 5.5 and then I'm gonna press control enter but I'm just gonna highlight the number two code and I'm gonna click run just press control enter and you're going to have the value here I'm gonna click on the broom here to remove all the values and then I'm gonna come here and press control enter now this means this thing means the smaller sign and the dash means that I want you to assign the value 5.5 to the variable a here in the values and the window number two we can see that we have the a variable and it contains 5.5 okay this is like assigning okay so now I'm going to click type off and then I'm gonna come down here and press enter and I'm gonna write a and then I'm going to press control enter and here I can see that R is telling me that whatever the value inside the variable a it's double this type of functions will basically tell me the type of data type okay if you're working in data set and you want to know what type of data that you are dealing with just put it in a data frame and then apply that type of uh, function and it will tell you which type of data type now there are a bunch of other data types uh, which are list vectors matrices uh, but there are separate videos for them uh, just for now we'll go with the basic data types so we have numbers and uh, let me just go and click B and then a smaller sign and dash and I'm gonna write 5 and I'm gonna press control enter and then I'm gonna go again and write type of I'm just gonna write type and it's going to show me and then I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna write B and then I'm gonna click control enter to apply this we will see we will see here okay here in the console this this window number three is console window number one is the script window number two is the global environment where we can see the values and window number three is the console and window number four where we can see the directory and some other packages and stuff and the plots we'll see that later on okay so i'm gonna come here and press Control enter and again it's double i mean we know that double is supposed to be decimal and five there are no decimal it's supposed to be integer as i said in the last video or in the previous video that if i want to make it integer i'm gonna come here and type capital L and then I'm gonna press control enter and we can see here that the value B becomes 5 L now I'm gonna click type of B control enter and now it's going to tell me that it is integer so by default the numbers are double in R okay now I'm gonna go to the next one next one we have uh, in, in, in Python we call them string here we call them character okay uh, so I'm gonna come here and write C and then a smaller sign and dash now as I said in the previous video that you should write with double quotation mark I'm gonna write my name Fahad I'm gonna press control enter and here we can see the C is Fahad I'm gonna come here write type of and then I come down arrow and then press tab to select it and then I'm gonna type the variable name which is C and then I'm gonna press control enter and it's going to tell me that it is a character same thing you can just instead of double quotation you can just write uh, one quotation I'm gonna just uh, delete this I'm gonna write one quotation I'm gonna write let's say the MIS control enter and type of C again it's a character so you can write a double quotation mark like this 
and you can also write one quotation but don't do just like I said one double quotation and the ending is one quotation no you either start with both quotations I mean you start and finish with both quotation or you start and finish with one quotation mark both of them is going to work but don't start with double quotation and end with one quotation don't do like this don't do like this let's say Fahad and then this okay I'm gonna press control enter and then where is it come here press control enter and here I'm going to have an error so just you know what by default everyone is using a double quotation here so just make it double quotation control enter and we have character okay a string is called in other languages in Python but here is called character all right what else do we have a number string we have boolean which are basic basically true and false or yes or no okay so I'm gonna write uh, let me just make a variable mm, num1 which is number one assign number 16 control enter and then I have another number which is number two smaller than equal 15 and press control enter so now I have two variables one is number one and one is number two number one is assigned 16 value and number two assigned with 15 value I'm going to write num one equal equal to num two which means is 16 equals to 15 press control enter and it's going to tell me no false this is what the boolean is we will use them a lot uh, in, in, in comparison but not a lot but in comparison okay but if I just go to the number uh, 2 and make it uh, 16 and I run the code again so I can change the value here in the in the global environment now both of them are 16 16 and I'm gonna come here and press control enter it's going to tell me true and if we I am uh, typing uh, let's say var 1 assigned with true true should be with capital so it's gonna look orange in our studio so it's supposed to be capital don't write don't like small okay it's going to show you if you press enter it's gonna become capital see so it's supposed to be all capital and control enter and then I have variable 2 smaller than and then false false yeah control enter now I'm gonna go and click variable 1 equal equal variable 2 true is true equal to false false okay but if both of them are true come here and press control enter and then come here and press control enter yes both of them are true so both of them are true uh, don't worry about this one uh, I just wanted to show you that there are data types called true and false where we use them in comparison later on in, in exercises and in projects you will know uh, what I mean by that uh, by the way I did zoom in so I, you guys can see the numbers clearly if you want to know how I did it uh, tools global options appearance here and and, and and zoom there is a hundred you can just come here and make it 125 110 so the entire window will become zoomed and the editor font size I just changed it it was usually 12 it was like this but I changed it because I want everything to be clear so I'm gonna come here and make it 18 okay and yes I hope you guys can see clearly uh, here in the data types here that file there is a small asterisk or the star icon here beside R which means this file is not saved I can press control s on my keyboard or I can just can click the save button here and now the data types are saved here the console if I want to clear it okay if I want to clear it just press control 
L and it's gone here you can just come here and click on the broom and yes now everything is empty the console is empty the environment is empty and we have the file but nothing is applied you want to apply everything instead of just going each one control enter control enter control enter just click the source button and everything will be applied at once the entire script file the data types dot r script file is going to run and, and, and execute at once instead of going each one control enter each one control enter each one individually run so if you want to do it individually you click on the run or control enter if you want to do it the entire file just come here click on the source and it's done now we have number string boolean what else do we have and the last one we have something called complex numbers which are used in mathematical equations so I'm gonna make comp smaller than dash 5 plus 65 I control enter and I'm gonna write here type of comp now I wrote comp the purple one is the variable and the others are commands so here is a way you can differentiate in our studio click here and then press control enter is going to tell me that this data types is complex now these are used usually in uh, statistical uh, if we're doing statistical learning statistical uh, analyses and whatever but usually in, in, in data science we'll be using boolean string and numbers and data frames and list and vectors and matrices now list and matrices and vector i'm going to make a separate video you'll find it in this course with extra explanation with a standalone video and, and and file so don't worry okay this was like a quick review about the basic type of data types that we have in r and basically in every programming language Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.